In our quest to understand the world around us, we often ponder the nature of truth, objectivity, and how our minds shape our view of reality. This journey takes us into the heart of philosophy, where we seek answers to fundamental questions about existence and the connection between our minds and the external world. Before we begin, please consider engaging with our content by liking and subscribing. Your interaction with our material greatly assists with the algorithm, enabling it to reach more like-minded individuals who share our passion for philosophical exploration. Our exploration begins with a powerful statement. When someone says, the tallest mountain I've ever seen, is the tallest mountain. They're making their own truth. This statement suggests that our view of truth is subjective, shaped by our individual experiences. If we base truth solely on our observations, we become the center of our own truth. Truth depends on our perspective. When we see ourselves as the measure of truth, everything we perceive becomes our truth. This perspective can lead to the belief that randomness is everywhere because each of us has unique experiences. However, there's another perspective called the correspondence theory of truth, which argues that truth exists independently of our beliefs. The correspondence theory of truth tells us that truth isn't just what we believe, it's something objective, existing regardless of our personal experiences. According to this theory, there's a reality out there, separate from our thoughts, and our goal is to align our understanding with this external reality. To grasp the concept of essence, consider this. Objects share something that defines their identity. For instance, a plastic knife, a wooden knife, and a metal knife are all recognized as knives, because they share the essence of what makes a knife. But if we change that essence, like melting a plastic knife, it becomes something else. This essence exists in our shared understanding and helps us classify objects. The difference between subjective and objective elements in how we see the world is crucial. While the essence of an object can be a shared understanding, our personal perceptions may still influence how we see it. If two people disagree about whether an object is a knife or a sword, it shows how subjective our views can be. Consider matter as a concept our minds create, similar to the essence of objects. We interact with physical objects, but the concept of matter helps us make sense of our experiences. This leads to a question. Does matter exist independently of our minds, or is it a product of our thoughts? Imagine a scenario where a loved one passes away. Does the external world remain unchanged? Does the world, with its trees and grass, remain as it was before? This thought-provoking question challenges us to ponder whether the world retains its essence when we are not here to perceive it. Drawing from George Berkeley's philosophy, we find that even in objective reality, there are subjective elements. For example, when we think of a triangle, we may remove subjective elements like color, but the concept of a triangle itself is a mental construct. This shows how our subjective interpretations play a role even in objective things. Our philosophical journey challenges how we perceive reality, truth, and objectivity. It invites us to consider the strong connection between our minds and the world we see. While the correspondence theory of truth suggests an objective reality, this exploration encourages us to question how our perceptions shape our understanding of this reality. Our journey through the philosophical labyrinth serves as a testament to the complexity of human thought and perception. It invites us to embrace a more nuanced perspective on reality, one that recognizes the inherent subjectivity woven into our understanding of the world. As we navigate this intellectual terrain, we are reminded that the pursuit of truth and comprehension is an ever-evolving endeavor, one that necessitates an open mind and a willingness to venture into uncharted territories in search of profound insights into the nature of our existence. If you enjoyed this discussion and found it thought-provoking, please subscribe to our channel for more philosophical insights and like this video to support our content. We appreciate your support in our quest for understanding. Thanks for watching, and until next time, Mind Summit.